All right, here comes Steve. Getting here with the second half. Should go pretty quick from here. Steve and Chavez. Sounds like the house rode pretty smooth all the way here. We're getting in the first half position so we can start setting it and get Steve unhooked and he's gonna go get the second half as quick as he can. They're gonna get that trans lift under it and get to work right away. We'll roll out our six mil poly underneath the home as a vapor barrier to the ground. And we're getting rolling on this installation pretty quick. Good, good reference measurement. <laughs> you got about that much in the back too for gravel. So. Other position in the block where they go getting the base of the stack set up <clears throat> and then Alex is gonna come along and measure each stack so they'll all be at a perfect consistent height so when the house is set down it's just like setting it on top of a basement wall or a different foundation wall the setting portion goes relatively quickly especially when you've got quite a few guys those stacks get set up really fast and we move basically as quick as we can go and measure each stack with his tool that he's carrying around there. And he's gonna holler out to these guys what he needs to build up on top of that stack or whether maybe we need some smaller blocks to lower that stack. So with that tool, he basically takes a reference point. He starts with a zero near our trans lift, typically and then goes along and, and zeroes at each one of these other stacks. If we use wood, there are some engineered plastics of variable heights that do work for this as well. A quarter inch. Eighth inch. Eight, zero. Perfect. On double wides, we put a marriage wall stack that comes up to the bottom of the floor of the home and just adds extra support to where the home marries up. And their locations are because of, there's a big opening in the home right here. So add support right below those. That's header. So the weight is distributed from the roof load out to the point. Down. Yeah. All right, we're back out here this morning, waiting for Steve to bring the second half. Gonna start pulling plastic off of this half of the home. Uh, ¿Qué tal amigos? Bienvenidos otro día más aquí trabajando con toda la compañía. There's so many flies here. Niño Alex. There's nothing compared to yesterday.
what's got to happen first here is we're going to get this plastic pulled as quick as we can. We kind of waited on this first half to pull the plastic all the way off because there are so many flies here that we're just trying to keep some of them out of his house while we do this. And they're going to pull this side as quick as they can. And as soon as they got that done, we're going to lift that whole house up. We're going to push it right into the first half and get the blocks ready and set it down. And this is what a split in half double wide looks like just before we put it together. It's time to lift it up and get ready to push it together. We're gonna pull tires quick. I think if I walked with my mouth open, I would eat 10 flies a second. the mobile home pit stop of America. Feed stop. Mobile home NASCAR. gonna be a lot of sideways video under the home. I love sideways videos. I know you do. Here goes Alex. Operator Alex. He's operating the zip level. <laughs> we got all the stacks set up and level. We're gonna push in that last inch, and then he's gonna set down. He's just holding it there so that it doesn't roll back while he's setting it down. And it just pops right into place. Now that we have the home together, what do we do next, Noah? What do we got left? We got to do the side of these root straps. We got to do the ridge cap. We got to put out the siding, uh, do the fascia, and yeah, we got to lag the bottom, and that should be it. So we make sure that this top gap in the roof is consistent and nice and tight, and then we go ahead and strap these metal straps across the ridge, nail them down, then we'll run our ridge cap and fix that. These are the leg bolts they're going to use underneath. They'll just run these through the marriage wall rim joist to tie the home together. This is this is the line between the two halves um, where the marriage wall meets up. And so we have this floor here is a little bit lower than this one. Um, just the way it sits, you know, it could have been sitting on a level a long time, so now the reinstallation is what's causing that. And so we'll actually lift on the rim joist on this side underneath with a jack up, just enough to make it flush on both halves, and then they'll run those lag bolts through. So we'll check that out underneath as well. So he's got one guy above inside talking to him on the phone about how much he needs him to lift. So right now he's got the jack on this left half of the house lifting up and when he gets the floor flush inside he'll let him know and he's gonna quit jacking. So now that we have the lag bolts all done we're gonna rack this house 
is going to take the trans lift and lift on this back corner. And we're going to lift with a jack on the opposite corner. Iraq. Yeah. here go across the top pin these straps down to the rafter we got a few up here but we're gonna put a few more make sure that it holds well when we set that those opposite corners back down then we'll be able to ridge cap inside it and be on our way guys are finishing up siding finishing up the ridge cap steve's over on the other end of the house and he's over here hooking up the water hooking up the electrical between the two halves so that way when they go to hook up their water line and they go to hook up their electrical from the outside everything works on both halves of the home so there really is just a ton going on with a job like this, moving a double wide or just in the mobile home transport and installation business in general. You gotta have some knowledge of a lot of different things. To move the homes, you gotta have somebody who knows how to pull them. You know, there's trucking in this industry, obviously that's the major portion of this, but also the installation side of things. You have to know how to do some siding, do some roofing, um, a little bit of plumbing for hooking up water lines and sewer. All kinds of different trades really come together in one job and i think it's pretty amazing that we're able to pull that all together so we're just wrapping this job up here um they're gonna finish that siding and the ridge cap and our crew guys is really amazing um you know we we split this double wide two hours away got it transported down here put back together in just a few days normally it would even go quicker we did have a few things pop up where i did have to cut the video in between but they do amazing work and they do it so fast so like i said we're wrapping this job up um, be sure to check out some of our other videos showing some other jobs there's just a lot going on um, in this business and we'll see you guys at the next job thanks <laughs>